This has been a build which has been on my mind for a very long time, and I always thought it's pretty cool. And one day, you know, I might get around to it. It's got a big, giant Rolls-Royce V12, and I believe it's like for a plane or a tank, a meteor. Pretty sure, uh, oh no, it is from a tank. Yep, okay, I was about to say it is from a plane, but no, no, yeah. 27, absolutely giant, completely superfluous. Loved the idea of this vehicle altogether. And instead of me making it, the Flying Dutchman seems to have already made it, but also made it a lot more insane. It's even got its own special image with a light in the background. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it has like a big whirling turn on sound like Let's see. That close. That is a sound and a half. Holy cow. Oh, that's pretty epic. So, what they have done here, you know, <laughs> let's get rid of this hood for now. That, that hood's a bit much. There we go. So, this is meant to be the Gavril engine, uh, the T-series, they said, and then cocked over to be a V12, and then modified to run on petrol, stuff like that. Uh, not so simple in real life to actually do, but my god, this thing is huge. Is that actually the valve cover? I don't remember it looking like that. Anyway, we got the parts coming around here, it's twin turbo, goes through this, and then... Uh, not quite how you'd run a turbo pipe out of that, but you know, it's fine, whatever, bro, as long as it looks fine. I also feel that that intercooler is not big enough. I feel that that thing would need to be giant to run a vehicle like this. Yeah, that's uh, also not the normal sort of intake manifold. This is the one, I believe, off of the... Ba no, the Brockwell Bastion, that's the name of it. God, I suck at names. So, yeah, that's pretty wild looking. That almost looks like the back of the engine. So that would mean that this is probably the front of the engine. It's a bit hard to tell. But yeah, so they, they basically have done exactly what I did to make the V12 for mine. Oh, bro, all right. Oh, boy. Running on petrol, you think that they might go with, like, some forged internals so then they can get the red line to go up a little bit more? But I suppose we're stuck with it. Oh, That sound! The turbos are so loud! Ugh. Come on! Come on! Turn! How does this thing not just oversteer the instant you put your foot down on the throttle? I feel that... Yeah, so we've got sports tires or like regular sort of tires on the front and then complete slicks on the rear. So I mean, I suppose that's actually a legit way of doing it. And it actually handles in a passable fashion aside from the fact that the <laughs> it's still wibbly wobbly like you'd expect most American vehicles to be. Okay. Let's try ripping on the handbrake. The handbrake does next to nothing. I feel that this thing, oh God, this thing needs a brake upgrade. I also feel that the exhaust probably could have gone through the hood a little bit easier than what it did uh, out the sides like it has, but still any sort of like custom exhaust expulsion, rather cool. This thing handles so weirdly with the uh, mismatched tires. I mean, it, it handles, which is good. It's not something I would do. I would probably go with, like, uh, drag pizza cutters on the front. This front bumper, honestly, you need to go. There we go, now you're gone, right? Yep. No, you're not gone. Great. I wonder if this vehicle has an all-wheel drive version. Oh, it really does not break very well. How much is this way? Let's have a look. Uh, weights. 2.8 tons. Just probably a smidge heavier than the default one, but only a little. I just realized I haven't turned the NOS on. And now... You know, it's exactly the same. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, now we're going through the gears. Oh my god, okay, now I understand. Why there? Oh, I broke the glass drive shaft. What's with moment chain drive shafts that shatter so easily? I actually, I, you know what? I've never broken a drive shaft, so I don't actually know how weak they really are. Though I do know that my Toyota. God, again? That was a slight tap on the side. Come on, bro. Uh,. I do know that the half shafts on my uh, Toyota 86 uh, are fairly weak. Yeah, th this thing wibble and wobbles so goddamn much. 
I want to drift it. It doesn't have the front end traction. And it doesn't have the RPM to really help us do the, uh... Full-on power slide. Like, it just... Reaches maximum revs. There we go. And then... Like, there's nowhere else for it to go because it doesn't have the... The RPM. Oh, God. Just... Oh, my God. It's so hard to drive. I want to test this thing against the default vehicle just to see how it does in a drag race. And let's compare it to just a default V8. V8 Auto. Perfect. Oh, it wants automatic control... Uh, sorry, uh, manually controlled gears. I'm going to be a no-go on that one. Thank you, but... Uh, no, thank you. All right, let's see how they do. Come on. Come on, I got turbo fan wheels that'll help me with downforce. All right. Where we go. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, that ripped hard. And I feel that that probably would have burnt the chassis in real life. And... And 8.9 seconds compared to... I mean, 8.9 seconds is nothing to be... Sneezing at. There we go. They finished. I can't actually see because it's kind of cropped off there. I think that's like... 16? Probably not 30 seconds, right? And... Let's try that again. Eh. Oh my god, it lurches so much lifting up that front tire. Which is surprising since there's such a heavy weight there. So, 8.7. Can I zoom out? Oh, I can zoom out. Thank god. Alright. Oh, sh oh, yeah, I have to brake now, don't I? Ugh. Come to a stop, please. Oh, nope. This has gone very poorly. There we go. Whew. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. 16 seconds. Yeah, as to be expected. Let's go with a different one. I don't actually know what their fastest version is. Uh, like down the quarter mile. Let's give it a good hot go. Is it the drag? Yeah, drag version? Perfect. I'm going to go out on a limb and reckon that I probably will have... A, uh, a better launch, but then with the less gear shifts they have to do and the long longer RPM, uh, they, they're going to do better. And away we go! Oh, yep, okay. The good launch. Wait, what? I disqualified myself? Come on! Really? I could have sworn I was within a thing there. After they were so nice to get up to line in a reasonable amount of time, and like, unlike every other AI, and yep, they're doing it again. Thanks, game. <sighs> there we go, okay. And away we go. There we go. Yep, I have the initial launch. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh my god! Okay, it was completely inverse of what I was saying. Apparently I got off my line, but still an 8.9. Very predictable times, and there's... Come on, slow down, you piece of poop. There we go. Wait, I didn't see that time. There we go, okay. They did a 10 second? I feel that they can go faster than that. So how about I drive the normal drag car, and instead they drive that one. Oh, oh, got go, it. Go. Okay, did I... I thought I uh, jumped the thing. Yeah, L look how slow they are. What's up with BMG cars being super slow? Yep, 0.2 of a second faster. So unfortunately, this is a faster car. Huh. But I still gotta say, this thing is pretty awesome. The hood is also pretty awesome. Like, just jankily put together like that. Do you know what's also awesome and jank? People that aren't subscribed, but they do subscribe, so you're awesome, but you're also a little bit jank. I mean, how have you not subscribed to me? Do you not see that I'm trying to get to 34,000 subscribers so I can beat Twin Durbrys? <laughs> anyway, uh, this has been pretty darn fun. Much like my channel members, those are the funnest people. Especially the Rogue Tick the Crown Priest, who is a top tier fun member. <laughs> oh God, trying to drift? It's a little bit tricky. This thing wobbles way too much. Give me a hot second. Anti-roll bar stiffness. Way up. Now, it's still wobbly as hell. God damn it. But, you know what? It feels a little bit better for drift. Anyway. Uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. And I'll go back to saying, anyway, thank you for being here. Uh, but I will catch you all next time. Goodbye.